Hello guys, we are at the place where all the magic happens. We are at the factory that makes wooden toys and wooden components for board games. So this is essentially Disneyland for board gamers and kids and pretty much everyone, I guess. I cannot wait to show you around because this place is amazing. There's like a big factory that makes a lot of different parts. There's a big process around it, a lot of history in this place and plus it smells amazing in here so i cannot wait to show you everything so we are in the czech factory the toa behind the scenes of how toys are made it all began over a century ago, in 1908. It is one of the largest and oldest factories in Europe. It has had a long tradition in producing wooden toys, board game components, as well as wooden jewelry and piano keyboards, among other things. Chances are you or a family member of yours owns a toy made here, so you could say it's like a museum of childhood memories for many generations. There's yo-yos, press-up toys, the legendary little mole, and various board game components for companies like Ravensburger and of course, Czech Games Edition. So the journey of a toy starts in the form of timber, somewhere in the mountains in Central Europe, and they are brought here by trucks and trains. Trees sleep during the winter and wake up during the summer, so to avoid having the color of wood turn blue, the cutting usually happens in the winter. The wood is cut into long planks and they are left outside to dry naturally for one to two years, depending on the thickness of the planks. When the humidity of the planks is around 20%, they are cut into shorter boards, which are then put into the drying chambers and are dried using warm air and steam. See here, they also leave some spaces between the boards to facilitate the drying. It might take up to five weeks for the humidity to drop to 7% and afterwards the wood is left to come to room temperature. When the temperature is right, the boards are cut from all four sides using the milling machines, creating rectangular shapes as well as profile boards. The number of spindles, the specialized metal knives, on one machine varies. Similar to a cookie cutter, the spindles can form a mold through which the board moves and excess wood is removed. And from that you can cut it even further into any shape you like. Depending on the diameter of a bead, as many as 65,000 beads could be made in one day by one machine. Every spindle machine also includes a piercing component which drills holes into the pieces. And then here come the drums. Pieces must be smoothed in these big wooden drums and then right after that they get colored. So this is like the beauty salon of the factory. Using water-based non-toxic dyes, the toys and board game components are dyed and varnished. The drums are filled with pieces, then the dye is added and the drum starts spinning slowly at first so the wood drinks the color. To coat all the nooks and crannies of the pieces, sometimes they use some round components as well to get the corners fully colored. And dyeing is repeated two or three times or even more when the color is a light one and the last time it spins they add the varnish. The freshly colored pieces are then placed onto nets and left to dry. 
and continuing the makeover of the different parts and pieces, some toys are hand-painted to this day. Like, for example, the face on this one is printed on a machine, but the hair is painted manually. The workers use small brushes, wooden sticks and glass tubes to paint details. But there are also printing machines that, using thermoplastic foil, pictures or colored numbers are pressed onto dyes and other components. And finally, this hole is where the components come together and the toys come to life. When there is only 5 to 10 different types of parts to be assembled, the workers can take them home to assemble them. The components get delivered at home along with manuals on how to assemble the sets or how to package them, and then the sets get collected and brought back for packaging. Yeah. They get checked and put in their final packages, and that's it! The toys are then ready to be shipped to children all around the world to find their new home.